Hi everybody, it's David Lee of Vital Health. I uh, just wanted to introduce myself. Uh, I'm, the co I'm the founder, actually, of Vital Health, which is a system of health and fitness business that I've been running for the last over 22 years now. So one of the things that I've noticed over the years is many health practitioners and even trainers always are looking for better assessment tools in many cases because we want to be able to assess our clients and really see what is going on with their body as well as what's going on on the inside. So as a, as a holistic nutrition guy and a herbalist, I'd like to see really what's going on with people's uh, body state on the inside, where their organs are at, especially when I'm trying to put them on a proper diet program or cleanse, whatever it is that we are doing to get them healthier. So one of the things I'm going to show you is the fact that I've come up with a book called Vital Health Bioassessment Guide. And what this is, it's a guide for showing people how to use this really cool device called the Quantum Resonance Analyzer. And it's quite portable. Uh, so if you're interested in this, on my website, we also sell these as well at vitalhealthlife.com is our website. And what I've been doing uh, the last several years is this is part of my assessment tool. So we assess at Vital Health not only the bioscan, we, we use the bioscan to uh, scan the inside of the body, but we also do a hormonal analysis as well as a food intake sheet so I know what they're eating as well as their health history. So it's a pretty in-depth assessment that we do as well as we do a functional assessment for the body. So along with this whole assessment, I've created this book. Uh, an instructional manual for trainers and practitioners, even clients buy it from me because they want to understand more on how to interpret the results. So what this is going to do is it's going to scan the body using 60,000 waves and it literally reads the magnetic charge of the cells of the body. It's 70-80% accurate actually and I've seen it, I've seen the accuracy over the years folks because I've had many people with many ailments come to me over the last several years and I've done the assessment with the device and it's almost bang on 70-80% of the time. Uh, very rarely have we been wrong. So, but the challenge has been for a lot of practitioners and trainers is to interpret the results because it's quite medical and quite detailed. So what I did was I worked with a medical uh, technologist and a friend of mine and we worked together and I produced this instructional manual so that you can use it as a reference so you can interpret and see how to interpret the results of Pierre. Right now I'm gonna do, or of your client, sorry. So right now I'm gonna do the scan. So for those who, of you who are not familiar, you'll see how it's done. Um, okay, Pierre, so I'm gonna get you to hold the probe. Now, I'm gonna ask you to take your watch off. So you wanna make sure your clients have electronic devices off their body, and you also wanna make sure there's no real heavy jewelry because the jewelry, if there's a lot of gold and silver and a silver watch, it'll become kind of like a conductor to the, the device, so you don't want that. So we're gonna do the scan. I've already entered in the information I need, so you have to get your client's profile. It's very simple, you just gotta get their name, uh, their weight, their height, their birthday, and the, the waves basically assess the whole body. So it will even read their emotions, so if they're tense or uptight or stressed out, it will read that. So you want, to, uh, you want people to be kind of calm, relaxed when they get this assessment done as much as possible. Okay? So we're gonna just do this. You wanna hold it just in? Uh, yeah, so you hold it like that. Mm -hmm. That's right, Pierre. And just relax. That's it. Mm -hmm. So they hold it in a vertical position, the pro. Now we're gonna start. <clears throat> So as you can see, these are the magnetic waves that are going through his body. Uh, I even get a diagram showing me um, which organ systems and which systems of the body it is scanning right now. So it's quite in depth. Um, it's almost like an MRI basically without all that preparation that you would have to do for an MRI. It's much simpler and uh, the device is portable. So for many of you practitioners out there, you're more than happy to you know, I, I, I invite you to come to the website, look at our store, and um, more than happy to 
uh, service you and, and ship one to you if you would like to use it for your practice. Okay, so it's finished. Now I'm gonna save it. So what's great is you can save all the files of the results and also email it to your clients as well, which is also an added service as well, which is wonderful, so people have a record. And this can also be used as a monitoring device. Every six, eight months, a client will come back sometimes and get rescanned, so you can see the changes in their body after eight months or 10 months. You know, they've been on the new diet program and changed their lifestyle and lost the weight, and they've gotten more nutrition into their body. You will actually see the results change as well. So we're gonna get the report. So um, I'm assuming, you know, some of you who are watching or many of you are already practitioners are familiar with this device and you may actually be using it. So there are a lot of devices out there and there's quite a few practitioners using this worldwide. It's still not mainstream, but there are practitioners out there using this. So I've developed this manual for you practitioners out there or people getting into the fitness and health industry uh, to be able to assess your clients properly. So one of the first pages that comes up on the quantum resonance is the cardiovascular. So that is one of the things that I look at as a nutritionist, as someone who is looking at health. Heart is very important, right? So just to give you an understanding, so the basic manual gives you a breakdown of the main results. So I'm looking at um, uh, Pierre's scan here. Now first I want to save the report. with his name. All right, so now you can set it down there, Pierre. So we've got some indicators. So we, you know, as you know, in the quantum resonance, you have many different versions, so you have different readouts. The particular fourth, fourth generation version that we carry that I use is got the bar. Uh, so the bar basically shows us, it uses color coded bars to show us the extremes of the reading. So everything in the middle and the green is actually normal. And the yellow of course is deficient. Uh, dark blue is mildly, uh, mildly abnormal or mildly, mildly normal. Red is more serious. Red is either extremely deficient or, um, extremely excess. Now, realize that this is at a cellular level. So it is reading what's happening in the cells. So you may not see the symptoms of this issue yet in the x-rays, but we are seeing at a cellular level. So therefore, when you see weaknesses here, we can still help turn around their health before it gets too far gone. So this is what's great about the quantum resonance. It is a preventative device. It is a device that can be used to look at what is happening at the cellular level before things get too far gone. So in his cardiovascular, we've got some reds. His cholesterol crystals are a little bit high. So it's up, it's up in the red. The blood fat's a little bit high as well. And myocardial oxygen consumption is a little bit high, but that's a good thing. Sometimes that's a good thing because he's doing a lot of walking these days. He does a lot of physical work. So that means he's got lots of blood going into his heart. He's getting some oxygen. Now, in the manual, I break it down. So, you know, I look at cholesterol crystal count and you can go to that section and see, okay, when it's high, you know, what are, what are the things that indicate high cholesterol? Well, you can end up with blood stagnation. You can end up with, you know, phlegm congestion. You can end up with mild sclerosis, right? So, and you can also, you know, it indicates high cholesterol blood. Um, so, you know, it started to get a little bit serious. So for his age of 63, we need to look after that. So this is where the book really kind of breaks it down, gives you a medical sort of interpretation in layman terms, in simple terms, because many people haven't been medically trained, so you wouldn't understand all the medical jargon and terminology that's used on the actual program. So this is what the manual is for. So the manual has been very helpful. 
Now we're gonna look at also his vascular resistance, which is in the red. So then you go to the vascular resistance in the book, so you'll actually see the section where I have your vascular resistance. I don't know if you can see that, okay? Um, where now I've defined, you know, when the vascular resistance is indicating high, an increase, you know, that means basically um, it's elevated systolic pressure, right? And also there's a slightly high blood pressure and increased pulse rate as well, right? Um, so you don't want too much expansion. You don't want it too much in the red, right? Um, but it's not that serious. It's elevated systolic pressure when the heart contracts, pumps blood out of the body, okay? So it's not a bad thing. So not all the reds are a bad thing. Now he's very physical, he works outside. You know, he's been going for walks and jogs. So, and he eats healthy. So I even have that reading sometimes. So some of these readings change according to where your heart's at with your activity level for that day or for that week. Okay, so not all of it's permanent. So this is where you need the training. Uh, you may be interested in my course where I train people because I was certified in this by a doctor PhD, uh, Dr. George, who trained me uh, quite a few years ago in this, and I got certified in it. So therefore, we actually I can actually train people on how to use this properly, how to interpret the results properly for your clients, and you'll get certified in my course. So to check that course out, you can go to my website at vitalhealthlife.com and look under courses on the menu and uh, you can actually sign up or get a hold of us and get a hold of me and I will tell you more about the course. We can actually do the course online. We'll ship you a device if you don't have one and we'll go through the various sections of the course literally online. So for those who are interested, you can also contact me for that. So let's look at another reading. So we're looking at, so one of the next things that I do as a holistic nutritionist is I look at the gastrointestinal function. So it's so important to know, you know, how is intestines and his stomach functioning? Is it absorbing well? So his readings are showing that his pepsin secretion is a little bit on the weak side, okay? So then we go to gastrointestinal, pepsin secretion. So I've all laid it, I've broken it all down. Um, now the manual doesn't have the interpretation of every reading. I mean, there's a lot of readings on these machines, but it has all the main ones you need as a practitioner, the main ones that are really gonna matter. Now, I am coming out with a version two book, but this one still has worked for me quite well in the last several years. So the pepsin secretion coefficient if it is high, it indicates an excess of pepsin, and an excess of pepsin in the stomach can cause irritation of the mucosa, you see? So I didn't know that. So when we did the study, and I put this book together, I'm able to refer back to it, because as practi practitioners, as you know, many of us, we can't remember everything we've learned at school or in college. So it's important to have the knowledge at your fingertips. So I've made this manual very simple. I've made it basic to help you to give you some guidelines to know what to look for when you do the assessments. Now, he's also got some gastric absorption function that's on the weak side. So I look at the gastric function absorption, and if it's on the low side, it actually can indicate a lack of stomach acids, which can lead to low absorption of nutrients from the food, right? So that is good to know. So when I look at that, you know, and then I we also do the food score. I see what they're eating when they fill out their food intake sheet for me. And I also look at their hormonal levels and their lifestyle. And I see that, you know what? They're eating, um, they're eating foods that basically are high in fat and protein. And they're telling me they have indigestion. Well, if I see that in the readings that they have low, you know, low stomach acids, then that would, that would explain to me why they're having indigestion or why they're always bloated because their stomach is not breaking down the food properly because it doesn't have enough acid level. So this is where then we can look at what we can do about that as a practitioner. So now there's another one. The other indicator here is small intestine absorption function. So in the book, I have the small intestine absorption function coefficient. And again, when it is low, 
when it is low, it indicates inflammation or obstructions, you see. So inflammation can be um, a mild form of colitis or mild form of IBS. I mean, there's so many things that this could indicate. And usually when the person tells me they have issues, I've had my scans confirm those issues. So they will already tell me that they're having problems with their digestion, that they always feel acidic, or they always feel like there's a log in their stomach, or they always find that their intestines kind of hurt, or they feel like they got a lot of gas and there's a lot of sort of uh, uh, bloating and, and they're constipated. So all these things will be signs to confirm that there is inflammation going on in their intestines, especially if they cannot eat certain types of food. So it's almost kind of like an ulcer in the actual intestinal lining. So this will actually confirm the other sort of assessment results you're getting with your client. So again, the book is used again to kind of keep you on track and it just really makes your practice much easier. So again, um, Vital Health Bioassessment Guide is what this book is called. Uh, you can go to our website at vitalhealthlife.com to be able to order. And um, it's basically made so that, you know, it will help you as, you know, fitness professionals. You can even use it if you're a trainer because if you're doing their nutrition, you want to know what's going on. Um, any type of health practitioners can use this. And um, yeah, so please come to the website at vitalhealthlife.com and go to contact us button of the website to get a hold of me or us and we will reach out to you to give you more information about the book as well as the device, the quantum resonance device if you're interested in also ordering it if you don't have one. Have an awesome day. Take care.